So today we're gonna to be talking about the new Radio Master Nexus. So let's just jump into it. This is a amazing deal. Uh, so the Nexus is the new fly barless unit from Radio Master using the Rotor Flight 2 software. Um, it absolutely blew me away. Um, I'm not too much for tinkering, so I kind of just like setting it and forgetting it. That's why I like my V-Bar stuff. Um, this is more for the person that wants to tinker and get the setup absolutely perfect. It gives you the ability to do all of that in a very, very affordable package. I mean, it's $80 for a flight controller that you can do just about anything with. Uh, so it's got, you know, all your S bus on it. So you could do S bus of like Futaba, you could do DSM. So also you can actually do the ELRS as well. Um, it does not have a built-in receiver. So they went ahead and did a separate kind of receiver. So you could do your ELRS, you could do your DSM, you could do your Futaba, whatever you want. That opens it up to a lot more people and you don't have to use the ELRS that comes with the flight controller. Uh, so it, as I said, it does not come with a receiver. Separately, you can buy the RP3H, which is what I'm running here, uh, which is the ELRS uh, version. So it'll hook right up to my TX-16. Um, so there's a few things on this that I kind of had to get used to. Uh, so the actual helicopter is, you know, of course on Rotor Flight 2. Um, I basically had a lot of help from Jonas in the setup with this. Um, so I did not make these PIDs. I will not claim to make these PIDs. Um, but it flies absolutely amazing with the PIDs that he hooked me up with. So there's a really good video that he made on how to set up the Radio Master Nexus on Rotor Flight, and it will tell you everything from flashing to your first flight um, and things to look for and stuff like that. So I just wanted to do a quick review of this um, from a, you know, old helicopter pilot I've been flying, as I've said, for you know, 13, 14 years with helicopters and fly barless units. Um, I normally stick with the same one for everything, but this is kind of swaying me in the way of going to rotor flight um, because the performance is absolutely unbelievable. Um, so on this one, like I said, I have the RP3H um, and the Nexus, so I'm running ELRS on my TX-16. Um, I only have, uh, I have three banks, um, so you can actually set up the profiles just like you can on V-Bar and Icon. So as you flip your idle up one, two, and three switch, um, you can actually, you know, change your uh, profile rates. You can also change your PIDs. Um, so I haven't really messed around too much with the rotor flight going in the radio, um, in the actual programming. I've got it to work. Um, I just don't know what I'm doing and I don't want to mess with anything and make it worse. Uh, so as I said, the helicopter flies absolutely amazing. We're going to do a little flight video. Um, I've got a few talking points while the video is going. Um, so I can kind of tell you guys, you know, some things that I, I felt on the helicopter that I, I'm not really that comfortable with anything other than V-Bar. At the moment, I never really liked the icons. I couldn't really get them to fly that well. Um, this one was instantaneous. I was like, yep, I'm comfortable. It feels great. It's locked in and it just works. Um, and same with ELRS. I never once doubted, you know, flying it. It's got a amazing connection. I know it can do long range, so I know it'll definitely do, you know, 20 feet away from me while I'm flying. Uh, so basically the uh, ELRS hooks right up to your Crossfire um, port on the uh, Nexus itself and then you're just gonna bind it up normal. The only weird thing that I really didn't, it takes a little bit to get used to, you have to change your setups a little bit, um, is channel six is now gonna be your throttle versus channel three. Um, so you switch those mainly because an ELRS, you have a really high resolution first four or five channels, I can't remember what it is, um, but those first uh, four channels are very, 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 um, you know, pertinent to make sure that the helicopter feels good. So you take your throttle and you put it on a separate channel that is a lower resolution because you're not going up and down with your throttle. Your throttle stays at 80%, 60%, and 40%. You're never gonna be going up and down with your throttle, at least uh, not normal mode. Um, but you make it into your collective. Uh, so your throttle is now just collective and not collective and your throttle. 
it's pretty interesting. It's a new thing to get used to, but again, it's because of ELRS. I don't know if that's true for any other uh, setups like Futaba or you know Spectrum. Um, I'm sure it is, but as far as the Nexus, the way I have it set up in my uh, controller is 2AT, what Jonas's video is. I'll link that video down below so you guys can get an idea. It is a long setup, but I'm telling you guys after flying it, it's it's worth it. Um, and once you do it a couple times, you know you'll you'll learn. You know what you're you like. Um, you know, you'll know this helicopter likes this kind of PIDs or this, this, and this. Um, so it's definitely something like the TX-16. It's very overwhelming at first because there is endless possibilities with it. Um, so I definitely recommend it for the tinkers. Um, soon there probably will be a few people re releasing their PIDs for helicopters to kind of show you, hey, you know, you could throw these onto an M4 and have good luck. Throw these onto an M7 and have good luck. Um, uh, you know, things like that. Uh, so let's go into the flying video and uh, like I said, I kind of talk during the flight, kind of tell you guys some of the things that I like about this uh, setup. So let's jump into it. One thing I'll say about the Nexus that I absolutely love is it literally takes three seconds for it to initialize. It doesn't take a long time. It's plug in and ready to go. So that's a plus. All right, so here we go. So this is, this is actually off of uh, Jonas's setup. And I mean, it flies pretty good. So I uh, tweaked it a little bit to my liking, like the rates and stuff, but it feels pretty good. This is the low head speed and there's, no really weird bobbles or anything like that. And that's a fairly low head speed. That's a very low head speed for some helicopters like this. But it fly, I mean, it really does fly good. So let's crank it up to the uh, idle two. I mean, that's pretty amazing for, uh, you know, $80 flight controller. And that's another thing that I really love about this, uh, this Fly Brothers unit is the tail performance is insane. I mean, this setup flies really good. It's dead on. I mean, it really flies great. I mean, and it looks great, you know, in the air, it doesn't look like it's doing anything weird. I don't, you know, have any issues with trusting it. Uh, I mean, this is pretty much hands off and it's just sitting there in a hover. I really like the feel of it with this radio. So I've only really flown my bigger helicopters with V-Bar. So it, it's pretty cool that it doesn't have any weird bobbles or anything like that. I mean, it's just absolutely so smooth with this setup. I mean, like I said, this is hands off, lower head speed, and it still, I mean, this is a really low head speed for this helicopter. And I'm not getting any weird, you know, you know, bobbles or anything like that. 
I have full trust in the model. Nothing weird. Yeah, you could definitely have a ton of fun with this fly brawless unit. As you can see, it flies really good. As you can see in that video, this thing is absolutely dialed. Um, the tail performance, as I said in the video, is my probably number one uh, favorite thing about the Nexus. It just stops and the rate of direction and the precision of, of the tail on this setup is amazing. Um, a lot of others, I can get it close, but I can never get it spot on. This is spot on. Um, it, as I said, it flies amazing. Uh, the feel is, uh, I mean, it feels just like my V-Bar um, in the way this setup is. Uh, it's kind of all in your PIDs and all in your rates, so that is going to be a personal preference thing. I love the way this flies. I have my rates down a little lower than most people um, because I don't really fly hard, hard 3D. I kind of do, you know, old guy 3D. Um, but basically, this setup, as it comes, I mean, you, you have to tune it. There is no getting around that. Um, so definitely look into you know the Nexus if you guys are interested. Uh, we should be getting them here pretty soon. Um, I will make an announcement, of course, when we get them, and we're going to be doing a lot more videos with the Nexus um, coming up. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.